In Pakistan, families continue to grieve following one of the worst factory fires in the country's history. An estimated 300 people were killed in the Karachi Garment Factory Fire, which burned for two days. Many blame the company's owners for lack of safety equipment and emergency exits. Catherine Comp reads for our reporter in Karachi, Gabe Matthews. Outside the Ali Enterprises factory, ambulances take away the dead bodies of workers. Many have yet to be identified. A widow and mother of one of the young workers weeps while waiting near the factory. She doesn't know if her son is alive. I would commit suicide if my son doesn't come out alive. The company owners don't know how hard it is to look after a child alone, and they least know how to bring up a young son. The three-story building didn't have enough emergency exits. Some were trapped in the basement without any way out at all. Others tried to escape through windows that were fortified with metal bars. Two out of the three main gates of the factory were locked. The number of deaths is the highest in the country's history due to fire. An estimated 250 to 300 people were killed. Relatives say it's been difficult to find out about their loved ones. Nobody tells us about the missing people. The media doesn't show the pictures of the dead and injured, which could help the families to find their relatives. Thursday was a day of mourning for the victims. Pakistan's president promised a thorough investigation, while police filed murder charges and conducted raids to search for the factory's owners. But some blame government officials, too, for failing to ensure garment industries meet basic safety standards. Another fire at a shoe factory in Lahore killed more than 20 earlier this week. That building also lacked fire exits. Reading for Gabe Matthews in Karachi, this is Catherine Comp, FSRN.